And you know what that means. That's right, it's time for yet another edition of Sip and Snack and more catch up here just like we did yesterday. Now, I talked about a celebration and I talked about the fact that we're doing cakes and donuts. But I'm not actually doing cakes or donuts. I'm doing Oreo cake and Oreo donut. So yes, more Oreos here on the Popcast Network. So yes, we're gonna go into something I should have tried a long time ago. Birthday cake Oreos. <clears throat> so yes, I've been wanting to try these for a while. I don't know why I've skipped out on them. Uh, I'm very happy these are actually chocolate Oreos and not vanilla Oreos. Cause I would expect with a birthday cake, they would be vanilla cause it would make the birthday cake flavor pop, but I guess not. So I'm glad that they're just regular Oreos cause I'm a big fan of regular Oreos. Two cookies will give you 140 calories, seven grams of total fat and two grams of saturated fat, no transitional fat, no cholesterol, only 85 milligrams of sodium, 21 grams of total carbohydrates, less than a gram of dietary fibers, 13 grams of total sugars, including 13 grams of added sugars and less than a gram of protein. There's zero MCG with vitamin D, 10 milligrams of calcium, 0.9 milligrams of iron and 30 milligrams of potassium. So we're going to try them and see what they taste like. I like Oreos, how they do it like that way. I'll move this to the side here. Immediately, I smell the birthday cake flavor, so it looked like this. I want to take them off so you can actually see. Unscrew the Oreo, and it looks like this. I like that. I like the Funfetti cake frosting, basically, is what it is. So we're going to try it, see what it tastes like. See if the chocolate makes the birthday cake pop. So let's try. It's really good. It's like if you took a chocolate cake and you put Funfetti frosting on top of it, that's what you get here. But it's weird because you know the generic Oreos that you get in like Kroger or various grocery stores across the country? That's kind of what these taste like. You know the generic sandwich cookies? With the way that the birthday cake filling actually works for the Oreo, that's kind of what they taste like. But they're good. I like these. These are actually very good. Great recommendation. Those are birthday cake Oreos. Now, a while back, I mean a long time ago, like probably 60, 70, 80 pounds ago, I actually was in Fast Food Boulevard in Springfield at Universal Orlando Resort, which of course everyone knows that I'm uh, more accustomed to now because I kind of take a paycheck from them every single week, thankfully. The thing about it is, is that they have the big pink donut. Well, Oreo has the big pink donut cookie. Well, this is not a Simpsons big pink donut. Oh no, it's just a regular strawberry frosted donut, which is basically gonna be the same thing. And these are gonna be the vanilla cookies. And for two cookies in this case, there's 150 calories. Seven grams of total fat, including a two grams of saturated fat, no transitional fat, no cholesterol, 80 milligrams of sodium, a little bit more than the birthday cake ones. 21 grams of total carbs and uh, zero grams of dietary fibers, 12 grams of total sugars, including 12 grams of added sugars, less than a gram of protein. Vitamin D, zero MCG again, uh, no calcium, 0.5 milligrams and 10 milligrams of potassium. Tell me why it lists that something's there when it has nothing on it. That makes no sense to me. So apparently these are pink colored cream with glitter. These are Mardi Gras cookies, basically. So I'll pop them open, see what they taste like. Like immediately you can smell the birthday cake. Immediately you can smell the uh, strawberry. So we're gonna go ahead and put these out of here. So this is what it looks like. Oh, that one, that cookie seen better days. So we're gonna open that up. So weird. Not what I was, oh, there we go. This one just shoot fell apart. It looks like this. So that's interesting. That's a strawberry frosted donut. And before I go, basic vanilla sandwich cookie.
a little bit of glitter, but not much. In the back of it, you have a little bit. So let me try it, see what it tastes like. Oh. Tastes looks like a strawberry donut. Yeah, really good. I recommend both of these. So if you want your birthday cake or you want your donuts, this is what you pick up when you are at your local store. Because I've seen birthday cake Oreos forever and I completely forgot I didn't do them. Then I checked the list. I was like, nope, didn't do those yet. And the strawberry frosted donuts, they're something that I just saw because they're brand new. But yeah, definitely great. I enjoy both of these. They're both good for a nice little pick-me-up, especially if you want a little birthday cake and you want chocolate cake instead of vanilla cake. And if you want strawberry donut flavored items, yeah, they're both good and definitely enjoyable. That's your separate sec for today. Uh, this weekend, double or nothing weekend, I'm going to be in Jacksonville, at least for Sunday. Fingers crossed Friday ends up working out. We'll see what happens with that. Either way, Gideon's is coming back to the network because we have a donut that's only good for another couple more days, and I have to grab that. I don't know why I said donut, probably because I have donut in front of me. That's going to be your Gideon's Bakehouse cookie, uh, the chocolate uh, peanut butter coffee espresso cookie that I'm going to be grabbing as well. Hopefully I'll get that on Friday. I sh I'm sure I will. Uh, that video will be coming soon. That's your sip and snack for today. And uh, that being said, I want to thank you guys and girls out there for watching. And until tomorrow, boys and girls, that's all I got to say about that.